Hello there. I wanted to go over some of the features in the latest release of TID Station in a video just to act as a bit of a video documentation because there's quite a bit of new stuff in there and uh, it could really do with explaining. So let's get going. So I'm going to launch it here. Get rid of OBS. Was that there? Okay. Make this a bit bigger. Okay. So you might notice a few extra things knocking around the place, especially that there, PTT. We'll come to that. So first of all, there are some extended features. Now you don't have to use the extended features. It, this will still work with the stock firmware. But if you want to use the extra functions, you have to flash a patched firmware. So we'll go through that first. So you go to the, the flash menu, you click browse and you find the um, 240530 binary. It's got to be that version. Okay, then you select that. In patches, uh, forget this one, this is just my uh, programming, but this is the one you want, 240530. TID station patch 0.36b that's the one you want ticked it should for you be the only one in there and it's ticked by default then select the COM port of your radio in my case it's 26 that it's connected to on the USB-C port and then click start at this point now hold P well the radio must be turned off hold PTT on the radio and turn it on and the patched firmware will now flash onto the radio. There we go. Welcome. Okay, and the radio is now booted back up. Now, alternative, if you don't want to use this flash system, because some people have reported it doesn't work for them, what you can do is click save here yeah and this will allow you to save the binary file out the patch binary to disk so that you can use another flasher okay so let's now go to all of the extras are on are on this page so we'll go into live mode so we click on the live port here where it says offline go to com26 i'll just turn the volume on the radio up a little okay so now we're in live mode yeah and the local repeater is working so the few uh, the extra functions are up here you have a modulation selection so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to a frequency where there is a carrier i think this one on four is it 460 Is a carrier on 450. So I'm going to take the scroll track. So now we're in AM mode. We've just forced AM mode. Now we're in USB. And now back to FM. Turn the scroll track up. Get off that frequency. Okay. So the FM mode on here basically forces FM. So it, its only real function would be to force FM on frequencies that are normally switched to AM, if you ever really wanted to do that. But uh, if you just leave it on the wave symbol, the radio will just do what it normally does. Okay, uh, what's next? We have the signal meter. So you probably already saw that. Let me go back to. Well, I did pick you up whilst, uh, I was... I'll turn the radio down there. You can see that um, the signal meter is showing the signal level of that repeater that's coming in now. It's com currently about S5. All right. We also have a spectrum scope. So to activate that, you click this little icon here. Okay. Now over here. You have a number of controls. You can click once and this will just give you a single scan of the frequency range or you can click start which will do it continuously. Okay. 
and click stop to stop it. Now the the bars basically represent frequencies. The center frequency is whatever is displayed on the FOA. The steps or the frequency gaps between the bars are whatever your step is set to on the FOA. And the number of bars is controlled by this here where it says 20. If I change that to 50, you can see I get more bars, right? So that's uh, simple enough. And next we have push to talk and that's just just press it and you'll transmit and uh, if you flip to VFOB it will transmit on VFOB and then the other red light will come on so uh, that's pretty much it those are the extra features hey thanks Ray <laughs> So there we go. Uh, this is available on GitHub and on the Facebook page. Thanks, Ray, again. <laughs> all right, see you all later. Bye.